young people of the age of, I don't know, what are they, 17 through to 23, 24, 25, um, you know, it shouldn't be too set in their ways. This is a time to experiment in your life. You know, you're listening to different sorts of music, you're watching different sorts of movies, reading different sorts of books, meeting different sorts of people. Think about how you can change your mind so that you can change your life and its impact on, on the natural world and the, and the environment there. A simple example might be, you might come here as a full-time carnivore. You might recognize that actually transitioning towards a plant-based diet might be a useful thing for your health, um, for the health of the planet. You don't have to go vegan overnight. You can just try some vegan food because you're a student and you've got plenty of time to. So take advantage of this unique opportunity in your life to, to explore. This is a time for activism. And activism doesn't mean that you have to be screaming and shouting and waving banners or gluing yourself to something. Activism means that you have to be doing something proactive to change something which isn't as functional as it should be. And you can be very personally active, make your own personal decisions. And then within the community of people that you're learning with, see if that's appropriate for them as well. Within the university community, and it is a community, and that's a, one, of the, one of its strengths, you know, question whether everything is being done optimally and maximally and as rapidly as, po as possible to, to make it uh, a more generally, you know, holistically sustainable environment. And, and way beyond that, you know. I fear that if we sit quietly at this point in time and hope that everything will get better, we'll go to hell in a handcart. And the thing about young people is that they are clear thinking. They're not risk averse. Um, they are determined, energetic and ambitious. They have their whole life ahead of them and they, they deserve a rich, fulfilled, healthy life. But at this point in time, that's not guaranteed. They're going to have to reach out and demand it and then seize it. So this is a time for them to stand up, be counted, shout above the noise, and make sure that their demands are heard. And they can do that in a perfectly peaceful and democratic way, but they do have to make those demands because at the moment the world isn't listening and that's not good. You know, there are no significantly young politicians. There are very few young people in decision-making positions, but whilst you're at university, the role of students is, is quite significant. You can influence policy. Um, and, that, and so therefore, I think you have a duty to influence that policy. So seize that because it's on offer for you. You don't even have to smash and grab it. You just reach out and take it. You know, that's part and parcel of, of, of what's on offer at university. But, you know, we, we need to trust those young people and let them make mistakes. Let them do ambitious things. Let them take risk because I see that really as one of the only ways out of the crisis that we're in.